random Catholic thoughts, list videos, and more for Bored Lady. What are carvings of Darth Vader, an astronaut, and a bull's head doing on Gothic churches? Why yes, that was a rhetorical question. Now get ready to find out. Six hilariously out-of-place carvings on churches. Before going any further, here's the obligatory request to subscribe and click the bell icon to get instant notifications. The Crushed Man. Visit the Church of the Jacobins in Toulouse, France, and you can see an architectural palm tree and the reliquary of St. Thomas Aquinas. And behind that, you can find a pillar with whatever this is. This stone carving looks kind of like the limbs of a person who got crushed underneath the pillar. Its origin is unknown. The Bull of Santa Maria del Fiore. Don't let the big fancy dome of this cathedral in Florence, Italy, distract you from spotting the carving of a bull's head. One local legend says that during construction, a man who operated a shop nearby discovered his wife was having an affair with one of the stonemasons. A bit of court drama ended the affair, and the wife had to stay with the shopkeeper. The stonemason then carved the head and pointed its horns and crazy eyes right at the shop. It was his sort of subtle act of revenge, because apparently, revenge is a dish best served stone cold. The Astronaut and the Dairy-Loving Demon the Cathedral of Salamanca in Spain was completed in the 1700s, and so, the carving of what can only be an astronaut is definitive proof that time travel exists, right? Of course not, don't be ridiculous. It's actually definitive proof that aliens in human form built the cathedral, and left this as a clue. No, really. Sure, you could look at the overwhelming evidence that says this part of the cathedral was renovated in the 1990s, and so the carving was a modernized version of a previous figure. But come on, you're not really gonna believe that, are you? Also, not too far from the astronaut, is a carving of some sort of demon, dragon, fawn creature eating what seems to be an ice cream cone. We guess it was put there because the creator had a serious craving at the time. The Xenomorph and the Mogwai The historic monument of the Bethlehem Chapel in Loire Atlantique, France, went through renovations in the 1990s. A few old creature carvings got a modern update and became Gizmo from the Gremlins movie, and the alien known as a Xenomorph from the Alien movies. To answer your next question, no, the Virgin Mary statues do not resemble Sigourney Weaver. Special bonus, Darth Vader in DC. Darth Vader's iconic helmet can be found on the Episcopal National Cathedral in Washington, DC. Perhaps it's there as a reminder to some less than active churchgoers that out there somewhere is someone who finds their lack of faith disturbing. There you have it. What other unusual church carvings have you seen or heard of? Put it in the comments section. And here's the obligatory request to like this video, share this video, watch some more videos, and subscribe to Random Catholic Thoughts. Thank you very much.